We're here with head trainer Firas Zahabi. Never, never a shortage of uh, news and chaos going here at the TriStar Gym. Preparation here for UFC 154. Let's quickly start uh, with George. I am sure at this point you are tired of talking about the man's <laughs> right knee and how it's responded. But uh, from what you see right now of George, I mean, is this almost uh, the best George St. Pierre you've seen? Or is that a question that won't be answered until we see him on November 17th? We won't know till November 17th, but I'll tell you, in practice, He's looking phenomenal, and he's performing at the level he was before and more. And he's more technical, he's wiser, he's smarter, he's more cerebral when, he's, when he spars now, and um, I really think he's going to do extremely well. We've seen a, a lot of guys coming in for this camp. Tom Watson is out here, Braulio Estima. When it comes to going out there and selecting guys, what is kind of that process like for you? Do you kind of dissect the opponent, and who is best yeah, suited had, to prepare? We had almost a year to decide who we're going to bring down, you know? Yeah. And, uh, Everybody here was really uh, the best thing we can get, other than Con Carlos Condit himself here to practice with. Uh, we have Lam, Lam from Tiger Muay Thai, who's a six-time world champion in Muay Thai. Brolio Estima, the pound-for-pound -pound king of jiu-jitsu. I've rolled with many guys in jiu-jitsu. I mean, he's really the best. And uh, he was an incredible hand uh, in this game. Uh, John Danahar from Hanzo Gracie Jiu-Jitsu comes up every single week to help us dissect uh, Carlos Condit's game. Four black belts every week from uh, New York. Uh, Brandon Thatch, identical size and reach of uh, Condit. Uh, and his striking is tremendous. Probably the best striker in the welterweight, uh, in the welterweight any, any welterweight in the world. His striking is tremendous. Um, really, uh, so many fighters. Nate Marquardt coming down. Rashad Evans even came down to lend a hand. I mean, we really have so much, so many guys, so many guys uh, pushing us and uh, helping us out. At the last time uh, we saw George, it was at UFC 129 uh, years ago, is what it feels like in mixed martial arts timeline. Uh, but he came into that fight with a little extra muscle than usual. Uh, is that something we'll see for this fight with Carlos Condit? Or is this something that, because uh, George was experimenting, uh, putting a, a bit more weight on at that yeah, time? Um, George is at a, maybe a little bit lighter than that, but he's stronger and faster. Mm -hmm. So it's not a question of hypertrophy, it's a question of effectiveness. His musculature now is more effective and performing better. And we, have, we hired new track coaches to help him. And I'm incredibly impressed with what they did with him. I'm incredibly impressed. His times have dropped. His performance are, are far better now. And uh, I'm very impressed with what they can do with him. Today, just speaking with him, he sounds like he is just rejuvenated and said there was a time when he would get, he would get tired and be looking ahead to after the fight. And now he's, he's kind of had just a completely different uh, approach to it, looking forward to getting to the gym. Have you seen a big it's, change? You know, George was training so much before he got injured, and then all of a sudden he had to do nothing for eight months. Eight months is a long time, and your world gets flipped upside, upside down. Then when you start training again, you can only do certain things. And when you're doing all these exercises, it's, it's not as fun as doing boxing or wrestling or martial arts. You know? That's the passion. That's where you, know, you can box for an hour and the, the time flies. But when you're doing little exercises, it's not always as motivating. George had to find his motivation, and now he's got it. And uh, getting his title back is, is, is something I really think he really, really wants. And my last question before we let you go, I'd be remiss not to ask you about a, a very great initiative you have put forward with Fund a Fighter. Uh, can you just tell us a bit about this and kind of helping that next generation of fighters? Yeah, the next generation of fighters, hopefully, Fund a Fighter is going to be helping to pool together all the fans out there that want to get their hand in with the fighter. You get to know the fighter, you make a donation to their training camp, you get a signed autograph, a tweet, a phone call, a video message, uh, you get to fly down to the guy's fight, you get to meet him at the weigh-ins. There's so many prizes to get and win and uh, a lot of times if you if you go on fund the fighter you see an up and comer that interests you get to know them before they become superstars fantastic go to fundafighter.com for more information on that and george steps back into the cage saturday november the 17th ufc 154 thank you very much for the time for us